I'll call. I'll call. Uh, uh, Tony's. Uh, Tony's trying to uh, to drop in. So we still don't know who the unidentified person is. Correct. No. Tony, could you unmute yourself? Hi. Sure. There we go. Great. We don't know where John is. Um, could you call us to order? Sure. I call the meeting of the Mansfield Middle School Roof Committee to order. This is our June 21st, 2022 meeting. Um, uh, do we need to call the roll? We who's on, we see who's on the Zoom. Okay. Except except for the except for the identified person on the phone. Yes. Who is on the phone, please? I suspect whoever is on the phone is also on the screen, but I'm not sure who you are. Uh, please identify yourself. The, the person is muted, by the way, so. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't mean they can't hear, though. Yeah, yeah I know, but they can't. we can't hear them. That's true. Please you may be telling us all about. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if, no, I can't unmute them. Whoever is the administrator may be able to unmute. This I, oh, I did. There's somebody new. To the I asked that to unmute them and it has, they are not. All right. Well, I can, I can remove them. Um, they're no, they're no longer me? muted. Can you uh, hear me? Yes. Um, yes. Um, yeah. All right. I'm on the phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have. I, I can't bring up the um, the visual, but I'm on the phone. All right. Um, hang on a second. I'll see. If, do you want to conduct the meeting, John, or do you want me to? No, just do it because you can see them. But I'm I'm listening and I will respond. Okay. I'm I'm trying to get the um, agenda up again. I had it about 15 minutes ago, and it's not showing up again. Come on, wake up. Um, are there the first thing I would guess would be a report from somebody who is who is the person to give a report? The oh, no, first thing is approval of the minutes of our last meeting. Would somebody like to move approval? I move approval for the minutes of the last meeting. Okay, second. there's second. second, seconded, moved by David Latrico, seconded by Bill Briggs. Comments, corrections, improvements. All those in favor, please raise your hand. I say aye. Okay, and uh, we're unanimous. So um, I still haven't been able to get. Tony, I have my agenda up. Bill, if you can give me sharing rights, I'll put it on the screen. I did something really old school. I printed it. <laughs> Next on the agenda is project update. Yeah, well, that's what I figured. Is there a project right. update? Not, not too much. The um, <laughs> since the last meeting, I, the architect had been out to do their punch list. That may think that happened even before the last meeting. Um, I believe that uh, Imperial has been out to do some of the re the repairs and corrections. <laughs> The rest will finish up when they're out there for the solar panel. Cough on you, okay? Um, we just received the change order this morning. So no, I don't believe anybody's really had a chance to evaluate it at this time. But that's really the extent of what's happened out there. We we've been pushing for to get that the revision, the pricing revisions in, and so we received them this morning. What did the punch list look like? Were there problems? There was, I think, two, three, four items, minor things. Paul, you may not remember what the top, what they are off the top of your head, but there were some minor things. A couple of uh, voids that needed to be clocked, if I remember, but uh, nothing major. Any other comments about this? Well, what's the price difference going to be on this change order? Well, so it has not been evaluated yet, but the price that's <clears> been <throat> requested is $66,908.89. Okay. 
but that is without evaluation or anything else. That is what we have received this morning. Okay. I, um, I just literally saw it 10, 15 minutes ago. It was the first time I even opened it. All right. And I think Paul. On the, on the agenda, we have a change order discussion and pro approval if provided. And obviously, we don't have a provided change order. So uh, that will, we'll leave that on the agenda for our next meeting. And the next thing is the approval of the silver Petroselli invoice dated June 1st, 2020. Okay. Um, Tony, before we leave the change um, order, I make a, a suggestion. Um, I, have, I have no trouble approving the silver Petroselli invoice, um, but it appears that this meeting's sole item of, um, of reason for existence is to approve a bill for under $400. And we are have a significant change order, and my thinking is that really, really could have waited until we had the change order, the analysis of the change order, and the staff um, recommendation as to what we should do with it before we meet again. Unless there is a bill of critical, time-sensitive importance that we need to approve. As those are my two cents. I would, excuse me, um, my name is Heather. I'm speaking for Bruce Rolakaitis. He is not here today. Um, so the change order would have been presented in a more timely fashion, but um, there was some communication back and forth with the architect, Paul, as you know, and Bruce in regards to how they felt it should be done. Um, so that's why the change order is produced this morning. I understand that you guys have obviously need some time to go over it amongst yourselves, with each other, with the architect. But we, we do consider this time sensitive because we would like to have this, the, the solar company proceed accordingly. Excuse me one second, I'm so sorry. Um, um, so, is it, do you have a scheduled time frame of when you're going to be able to meet again, or do you put something on the schedule right now so I can inform the solar company when we could anticipate an approval, or what's the next step? Now, because the um, committee um, is not able to provide an, a yearly calendar of its meetings uh, to the town clerk's office, uh, because of the nature of a temporary committee like this, um, every every meeting is a special meeting, which means we could meet, provided that the proper notice is provided to the uh, to the town clerk, we could meet whenever we choose to meet. And I'm, I'm not in the slightest uh, bit critical of of Imperial. Um, I mean, if you, if you, um, the circumstances that, that were described, they are what they are. It's, that's, that's, that's fine. I simply would hope that we would not be called to, not that I have that busy a schedule, but some of us do. And I would hope that we should, we not be called together until we have to really move on a significant piece of business. And I think that the change order um, is, a significant piece of business, significant um, in dollar amount, and it's important to um, the fact that this project needs to keep moving forward. So my comments are is that let's not have a several hundred dollar um, bill to approve, but wait until we have um, a real, um, a really significant chunk of business, a change order um, in our hands, and then we can schedule, we can schedule the meeting and because okay, so you, you, have a, you have a chunk of change order in your hands. Are you, can we schedule? I, I, I don't have it. Um, the, the, well, the, uh, well, I, I, well, well, let me, wait, let me interrupt, let your... me interrupt, please. Nobody has, nobody sure. has the floor right now. Sure. Um, Mr. Shapiro has, has made a recommendation, um, which is, a, which is different from the, the discussion of the change order. He is talking about how we set agendas and when we set a meeting. The fact of the matter is we are meeting right now. We do not have a change order on our agenda, um, so we cannot vote on that. What we have is the under $400 invoice. Now, uh, from, from my personal perspective, I like meeting even with this small amount of actual business 
just to get an update on where we are and how the roof is progressing and if there are any problems. I had no difficulty having a short meeting if we just get caught up. So um, we don't have the change order, so we can't vote on that. Um, Ms. Lyman, I saw your hand up earlier. Do you have something to contribute to this discussion? Excuse me, Tony, I would still like to resolve the change order if it's possible. I understand you guys have not had a time to digest it. I'm just looking to find out what I can tell the solar company as far as, Paul, our contract does not say that you have to have meetings to approve change orders. I just want to keep moving the job. We just okay, want to order the material. All right, here's what I'm going to say. We will try to find a date when a, when a quorum of this committee is available at the earliest possible date assuming that that date occurs after the staff and our consultants have approved the change order. Does that make you happier? Um, you can approve the change order, whatever works for you, ma'am, and uh, we'll see if that accommodates with the solar schedule. I, I, I'm at his mercy, so I'll wait for you and, and we'll just see how that timeline works. Is I'm just trying to keep your project on schedule. Is there any work that's being held up because we have not approved the change order today? Yeah, the solar work. Yes, yes. So the change order only applies to the roof itself. It doesn't apply to solar. No, no, it applies to the roof and the solar panels. There's approximately forty-one thousand dollars additional cost directly for the solar Summer Hill solar, and that would be for panels and some of the revisions directly associated with the panels okay. and i think that was largely due to the price increases if i understand correctly the rest of the cost would be roofing costs um blocking special fasteners and things like that that are required and some additional labor um so yes the having the change order out there yeah i think the solar company is probably going to be reluctant to purchase you know additional forty thousand dollars in materials without a a guarantee that they'll get paid for it. Well, let me throw out another suggestion. And this is sort of off the wall. I don't know whether it would be possible or not. Could we approve a change order up to a certain amount as of today? No. Paul no. shaking his head. Okay. Um, why, Paul? I'm sorry, Tony, are you referring to me or Paul Shapiro? Uh, Paul Jorgensen. You. Uh, th thank you, Tony. Um, we wouldn't recommend uh, approving any not to exceed amount yet. Um, we, we received the proposal at 945 this morning. So it, no one has had time to go into all the detail of it or confirm things. So because you can meet on a as needed basis, we would recommend meeting either late this week we could put it off by two or three days or maybe a week from now uh, that would give us time to qualify and and make sure that everyone is on the same page and the, and the proposal that we want to recommend to you is ready to present um it, it takes time to review these um the last meeting you had was two weeks ago and we asked for the proposal two weeks ago and we received it at 9 45 this morning so it, it, it takes time. Um, and with all due respect, if, if the solar company need, it was in such a crunch time, they could have gotten the proposal a week ago to us. And Paul, we would have had that time. Is, Paul, that is not necessary. Excuse sir. me, I'm, I have the floor right now. Okay, I'll go next then. I'm sorry, um, I, have, uh, I have recognized Paul Jorgensen to speak. Go ahead, Paul. So it, what I'll say is we did have communication with the contractor over the blocking, the roofing portion of this, and, and I'm not debating that portion of it. What we, what we need time is for our electrical engineers to review this, um, not the roofing component so much, but the electrical component. We have not had any discussions over the electrical over the past two weeks. We just simply received it today. So once our electrical engineers can review this and we can discuss it as a team, then yes, we can have a meeting quickly. All Thank right, you. here's what I'm here's what I say. I, I don't want to get into a discussion of why it got here and why it's not on our agenda. Yeah, I'm uh, sure, sure. 
I really, I really don't want to do that right now. What I want to do is to figure out a process that will bring this to a successful conclusion. So I'm going to ask uh, uh, Catherine, who is our administrator, to find the earliest possible date when everything will be ready and we will have a quorum of the committee. Uh, whether that's this week or early next week, but as soon as possible, uh, and, and we have to have a quorum because otherwise we can't vote, and uh, it has to have be formally presented to the committee. So we have to count uh, Paul Jorgensen's time or whatever. But the goal is to move as quickly as possible. Yes. I, I, I still have a question, Tony. Thank you for adding the, the change order to a, a meeting. That's fantastic. Um, Paul, you said that your electrical silver cutter Sally still needs to review everything as far as electrical wise, correct? You just mentioned that you want some time to digest the electrical portion of the change order. Yes. Okay. If we need to do anything, if we need to uh, do a conference call with the solar company, if we need to do anything to expedite it, I'm offering to do that. Um, I, you know, I, I would like to reiterate that we stepped up and had our solar company solve some of these issues and put you in a position to design the solar to make everything work. So we're just trying to accommodate everybody. But I, in order to do something faster, Bob, if you would like to meet with Brandon, I know you met with him on site, but if you would like to speak with him over the phone on a conference call, we're happy to do that. But we just want to have all the questions answered because we do want you to stamp it because you did design it, right? We want to make sure you guys, submittal-wise, sign off on everything so there's no problems down the road. And it was submitted two weeks ago, the, the submittal portion. The change order portion was just submitted now, but the submittal portion of the project, the electrical part, was submitted two weeks ago. So if you got a chance to look at that, you know, that ties into the change order. All right, so does anybody have any problem with the solution I propose? I, Bill? I just like to make sure that Paul Jorgensen is comfortable with whatever the, with the timing of this other meeting and, and uh, discussion. Uh, th thank you, Bill. Um, yes. Well, we, we can do one of two approaches, correct? We can wait until we have some sort of discussion and recommendation and then let you know that we're ready to meet. Or we can set a, de uh, set a date. And um, now that we have all the information, we will work to that date. So again, I think the earliest that I would schedule something is maybe on Friday of this week, if that would work. Um, uh, we could have a short meeting and be willing to discuss it. I think we can work to that deadline um, this week. Uh, if not Friday, then we could meet early next week, Monday or Tuesday, um, at probably the same time, right at one o'clock would be fine. How about Friday morning? Uh, Friday, I have, a, I have a nine o'clock, but other than that, I'm pretty open on Friday. It's Doug. Uh, how about Friday at... Uh, 9.30? I can do 9.30. That would work I for me. A, I, I have a 10 o'clock, so I will only be able to participate in the first few minutes. Well, I think that the only thing on the agenda should be approval of the too change much. order. Thank too much. I, I'd, um, like to, so I'd like to see Paul Shapiro at this meeting. <laughs> um, um, I'm I am free in the after. I am free anytime between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. So. <laughs> How about 3.30? Sure. No. 3.30 on Friday. No, not no. for me. I, I prefer to stay in the morning as much as possible. <laughs> All right. No. How about... Um... And yeah, the other thing, uh, to, to, not to interrupt you, but to, 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 to Dave uh, Latrigo's comment, um, I also am fine between whenever anybody wakes up until 9.30 a.m. For example, the town's work day begins at 8 a.m. on Friday. Careful, honey. That's, that, that's fine. 8, 8, 8, 8 to 8.30 or 8, 8 to 9, that's fine. Mm -hmm. How about 8 to 9? I'm good for yeah. 8. That'd be fine with me. 
That's what I like to hear. Um, Paul, in regards to the change order, is it possible that you could have a conference call with Bruce prior to the Friday morning? Because I just want to make sure that you guys are on the same page in regards to the blocking and the plates. It's assumed we'll have several meetings before then, yes. Well, yeah, that's one specific he wanted me to bring up because depending on which way, it's substantial in saving the town money. And the plates he had mentioned are sufficient, but he just wanted to make sure that you two have that conversation. Correct. And this means that you guys have only got two days to, to iron out these wrinkles. Is right. that sufficient? Should be. Yeah, and the yeah, we, direct we, we, question, we think so. Yeah, I was going to ask Paul Jorgensen, um, and I, maybe this was what David was going to ask as well. Um, can you, between now, you have the submission, um, you have the uh, the uh, the um, engine, electrical engineers on call. Can you meet that beginning of the day deadline on Friday, Paul? J. Paul J. I just asked yes. that, and the answer was yes. I, I mean, he nodded his head. I just wanted. Yes, to we, we we believe that either that's enough time if the contractor is willing to meet with us and all parties um, are available. Yes, we can we can do it. Great, uh, great, David. A question. Um, just to clarify my mind, all these wrinkles have to do with the solar panels and the installation, right? There's nothing in the roof itself that has to do with this. We would like to confirm the roof number as well. Yes, but that's a minor component compared to the electrical. Right. But basically, it's the electrical and the solar panels that we're talking about. It, the majority of the proposal is electrical. Right. Yes. Yes. Thank there, you. there are roofing costs, but that's really for some additional mounting to install the panels. All right, there, there's no structural issue with the roof no, no. supporting no. this in any way. So no, not, it's not, not that we're aware of, no, no. All right, okay. All right, so um, you'll get a Zoom invitation for eight o'clock Friday morning. And uh, in the event that something goes wrong, Paul Jorgensen um, and um, Whoever else is responsible will let us know as soon as possible mm -hmm. uh, with the goal of moving the meeting to Monday or Tuesday of the following week at the latest. Okay. okay. That's, that's good. Okay. Um, Kelly, did you have something you wanted to add? Uh, at this point, you're well past it. So okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the next item on the agenda is approval of the Silver Petroselli invoice dated June 1st, 2022. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Bill Briggs, second by Paul Shapiro. Um, any questions? Uh, um, Alan, you want to present this to us or whoever presents it to us? Sure. Um, I have uh, looked this over and I do um, agree with the uh, billing on this. Okay. Any other questions about this invoice? All those in favor, please say aye. Raise aye. your hand. Aye. Okay. Aye. I believe it's unanimous among voting members. Um, all right, the next item on the agenda is a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> David moves, Bill seconds. Okay, I thought for a minute you wanted to keep going. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. Uh, all those in favor of adjourning, please raise your hand. Uh, we have just three voting members, four. John, you approve of adjourning? I do, yes. Okay. We are adjourned. <laughs> There's a right. voice somewhere. We'll see you all at eight in the morning on Friday. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, it was nice to hear you on the radio this morning. <laughs>